Okay, everybody, we are here to paint. This is the Artsy Club's December of 2020 painting. Uh, it's a really fun painting. You get to be really creative when we draw some crazy cows that are ice skating. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're going to get our supplies ready. For this one, we have just five paint colors. We have red, yellow, black, blue, and white. I uh, have my canvas in a landscape, which means, I'm sorry, portrait, which means that it's uh, the short side is on the bottom and the top and the long side is on the side. So portrait, um, orientation, I have my cup of water um, and my brushes. So we have a large uh, three quarter inch uh, flat wash brush, a half inch number 12 flat brush, um, a number eight flat brush, and our number three detailed brush. Um, and uh, so if you don't have those exactly, then uh, you can make it work. Um, if you have one of those paint sponges, that's great for the background, all kinds of things. So don't, don't stress out if you don't have exactly what you need. Um, one special piece of, in, of material that we want to have or supply that we want to have for this one is the a Sharpie, um, just a regular black Sharpie. I have a um, black Sharpie paint marker. Uh, this will make drawing the, the cows just so much easier. So um, make sure you have that. Uh, make sure your parents are comfortable with you using a permanent marker. Um, then I have my paper towel as well and my palette. So we are ready to go. Um, the first thing we're going to do is mix some colors. Um, so this has a turquoise background and in order to get turquoise, I'm going to take some of my white paint and, um, you're gonna wanna do a decent amount because we're gonna cover the whole background of our canvas with this. So, and then just add a little dot of blue to it and just a little bit of yellow. Um, and we're just gonna start blending that together, okay? And if you see like right away, I think mine's gonna be too green. I'm going to just add a little bit more blue. So we're looking for like a sky blue color. And you want enough to cover the back, the whole top half and bottom half of your canvas with just a little bit of a stripe of white in there. Okay, so um, here we have pretty much what I think is a good um, color. Maybe just a little bit more blue here. And just kind of mix that up just to brighten it up a little bit here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this over on my canvas and I'm going to start with my largest brush that, that three quarter inch wash brush. And I'm gonna make basically a hillside just above halfway on the canvas. I'm gonna paint an S shape, okay? So that, um, so that that's where the hillside, the sky basically is going to be. This is the, the um, the horizon line that we have. And there's gonna be a, a hill and a valley where we'll paint some trees for our picture, okay? So just above that halfway line, and I'm gonna paint the top part of this canvas, okay? And just cover that up. And 
and we can use vertical strokes. And you want to lift your brush up and down instead of smushing it or all around on the canvas, okay? So lift it up and paint back and forth in slow strokes. And that will make your brushes last much longer, okay? And you don't want to smush it on. If you need more paint, you go ahead and get more paint, okay? So I'm just gonna make sure that I've got everything covered. That turquoise color is pretty. Just kind of keep going up here until it's all filled in. And then that we're gonna also paint a section down at the bottom here where we're gonna have a pond where these crazy cows, these goofy cows who are ice skating are going to skate. So this is just gonna be a rounded edge and we're gonna paint this pond for them here, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna leave this section here with no paint on it for now, okay? So we'll go ahead and continue painting this turquoise to cover up this bottom half that's gonna be the frozen lake that everybody's gonna be having their ice skating ice capades on. And ice capades are an old term for an ice skating competition. Okay, and just gonna keep filling all this in. Until we're all set. All right. Okay, so I have that all filled in here. I'm gonna rinse my brush out. All that paint we're gonna rinse out, okay? All right. So we're going to rinse out all that turquoise. And get all that water out of the brush. And I'm gonna still use my brush, the same brush I was using, the wash brush, to grab some white paint. And I'm just gonna fill this section in on the canvas here that doesn't have any paint on it with this white paint, okay? And we just get it right up against that edge of the pond. And just make sure that all our canvas has white, says has some kind of paint covering it. To make sure that it's ready to go. Okay. So again, if you remember that if you get behind or you um need a break or need to stop, feel free to give me, just pause the, this video and come back to me when you're caught up or ready to go again, okay? So just take it at your own pace and mostly enjoy yourself, okay? Sometimes it's hard for me to learn something new if I just watch it one time. I have to rewind it and watch it over again. So, um, so feel free to do that. Okay, so I have my section all painted in here. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is just add in some circle motions up here with my white paint. I didn't add any more to my brush. I figured there was enough on there. I'm just gonna make little circles and add in some clouds, okay? So just making little squiggle lines and not a lot of paint. So I'm going 
If you see it, it's like this, straight up and down. Just spin, 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 just to try to make these some nice details in the background here for those clouds, okay? All right, so at this point, I'm finished with my background. If you're not finished, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna dry. So when you're finished with clouds and you have your white part painted and your background is all dry, then start the video back up. So we'll, I'm gonna pause here and get my canvas nice and dry and then we'll, we'll finish our painting, okay? All right, everybody, I am back from the dry break. My canvas is dry to the touch and ready to go, which means we can paint over this and it won't get smudged up. So um, we are going to move on to the next step. And the next step is for us to put um, three or four little trees up on this hillside, okay? So we are gonna decorate those with some Christmas lights and have a good time. So they're just gonna kind of be up here. So in order to do that, they're not gonna be like normal trees that are green and brown because this is the winter time, right? And they don't really have uh, too much in the way of leaves, too many in the way of leaves. And then um, these are snow covered trees. So it's a little bit abstract with these cows, but then again, so are cows ice skating, right? Um, so we're going to start by painting a teardrop shape and I'll show you what that is with some white paint on, um, our brush and we're going to start here and I'm going to put a little dot where I want my first tree, the top of my first tree to be. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to bring a teardrop shape is like an oval at the bottom and then it comes to a point at the top okay mm -hmm. so it's round like an oval at the bottom and it's pointy at the top so it looks looks like a tree or a tear coming down if you've ever seen it or a drop of water that's why they call it a teardrop shape so i'm going to just paint this this in here and that's gonna be my first tree. So I want like three, three more trees for sure. And there might be one that just kind of goes off the page. So I'm gonna put one, I'm sorry, two more trees. And one that is like halfway on. So there are my dots for my starting points of my other trees. And this one is kind of skinny, so I might make this one a little fatter. Like that. And they can be different shapes. And we're just going to paint each one of them in. And we may have to go over them depending on how. That one's going to be a little shorter but fatter. And then this one. Just kind of going to. There we go. Okay, so now we have our four trees. We're just going to paint these in. And if we need to go over them again, I might, I mean, start over here and just kind of try to fill that white in a little bit more. And just even those up. Okay. So we'll start over here and we will do all the branches for these trees and the trunks later after this paint has really dried this white that we just put on here okay there 
right. And here's my second one. Get my third one going here. Get those filled in. So that they can get good and dry. And then we're ready to tackle those cows. Okay, so I have these ready. I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit more. And with this painting, um, we're gonna have some drawings here. And you can see that we have a few things a few general shapes to do. So you can be creative here and draw all different kinds of cows. Um, but you can see here, there are some general steps that I'm gonna take you through. So this is where we're gonna get our paint marker or our Sharpie and work on drawing some cows. So if you follow me step-by-step, step, we'll get the first cow. So I think um, that I am going to start with this cow here as my first ice skating cow. And then we'll I'll decide on two to three total cows, okay? Um, so I wanna start with this guy um, in the painting and then uh, see where it goes, okay? So, I am going to start, I wanna see if I put this here. Oops. Okay, if I put that there, you can see the steps while I draw. Okay, so. Um, while we paint, we are going to use um, this smaller brush and we're gonna use some of the white uh, paint, okay? So the first step that I wanna do is I kinda wanna decide where my, my cow's head is going to go, okay? So this is gonna be my main cow um, and his head, and this is just a small U shape. And I'm gonna paint just a U shape here for my, my cow's head. Um, and then give him some one loop here for, for an ear and go over in another loop, okay? So there's his face. And this is very rough and we'll fill it in, okay? But there's my cow's face. And then I'm just gonna do some little hooks up from each thing, like semicircles that go up. One goes, they both curve towards the center. Those are gonna be the cow horns. Now, as far as drawing in the facial features, I'm not gonna do that yet, okay? But I am gonna do my cow's body. And the head shape is, or the body shape, if you can see it here, is just a U, all right? And we're gonna paint that in. And he kinda is sticking his, his bottom out. So we're gonna paint this U shape. Like this. Okay, and I always like to go skinny to start, and then um, you can always make it wider. Okay, so we have the cow, his body, or hers. I guess these are 
girl cows because they have udders. Um, boy cows don't have udders. <laughs> the udders are where the milk comes out for these cows. And boys don't have those. So these are girl cows, girl ice skaters. Um, so for the uh, arms, my guy or girl is sticking out. So I'm just going to give her an arm like that. And another one up straight. So you can kind of start to see that come through. And then this leg and this leg. Okay, so that's the, this is the, the udders right here. Okay, so that's kind of the outline of that cow. Um, And we're gonna wait and dry these cows before we put all of the black details. So we wanna have that white be good and dry. And then we'll draw in The rest. Okay, so this is a little tough. You kind of have to think about what you're doing and if it makes more sense we might try the other way and maybe I can take my marker and draw this next cow. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my next cow and I am going to have this cow be doing this handstand okay so if we want to do this next one with a marker we'll have to fill in the white paint and maybe re-outline Outline, but I'm going to start with this U shape for the head of this first cow, and from the head, he's going to he this cow is doing a handstand, so she's going to have two arms coming down, okay, and then her ears and her head. Her horns and then this body this u-shaped body is gonna come it's an upside down U that way okay and then her legs are gonna go off so this leg is gonna go off in that direction and this leg gonna go in this direction okay so there's my next cow and then I'm gonna paint this white when it dries a little bit and let's see my final cow will do the splits okay so I'm gonna start with the body on this one and I'm gonna Draw a U okay. and have the legs come up and down. Okay, and then the head.
with those ears. Okay. And this one's going to have has the arm come down. Okay. So those are the rough drawings of my cows. So I'm just going to paint those two other outlines in. Okay, so my paper got a little goopy. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute. So I'm just going to paint these in. And if you need to re-outline, that's not a problem. Okay, might make it a little easier, but we're just going to paint these in. On the snow. There's a question about how you paint on the snow. You just kind of want to stay in the lines here, like that. And we can draw in, we're going to draw in the little details. So right now I'm just focusing on painting my cow and getting it to be white. So if you wanted to draw these with pencil, you could as well. There we go. Okay, so there's my first cow shape. And do that again here. Again, if you need to pause and repaint these cows, or you want to try it on a piece of paper first, feel free. Okay. So I'm going to let these cows fill in my other one that I did freehand here with that other layer of white. So that this one can keep drying. So once we're finished getting this base coat of the white for these cows, we're going to come through and go back to these trees that are dry. And we're going to add some branches using some gray paint. Almost there. Right. 
almost there. Okay, so I have a good start on my cows. Um, okay, so for the trees, we're going to make a little bit of gray paint uh, using mostly white and um, a little bit of black. We want it to be a very light gray. So we're going to go through with our detail brush and start with one of the trees here and we're just going to paint a trunk down and then just bring up some branches into these trees. Okay. You can just bring those lines up and have them branch off like that. Okay. And then you just want to do that for each one. And again, these aren't exact, they don't have to be perfect trees. I just kind of want to give them some details here. out a little bit okay, and on this last one the trunk actually can go down right on the edge of that and head up Okay, so those are my trees. And I'm also going to um, add a few little spots of grass in this uh, snowbank just by kind of flicking that detail brush up in just a few places. We just have a little bit of grass breaking through that snowbank. to kind of give it a little bit of something there. Okay, so we're going to then add and make just a little bit of pink paint to paint these cow noses. So we're going to have a little pink. So we need mostly white and just a teeny tiny bit of red and we're gonna make we want it to be not like pale pink but just about like carnation pink here all right so each cow we go back to our list here. Each cow is going to have this rectangle of pink um, with these circles of 
white in their little noses. So we want to make sure we can always add the white, but we'll paint these little rectangles using the pink paint on their faces. Okay. So just going to kind of paint this rectangle over each face. In the general spot where you think this cow's mouth is going to be. Just like that. All right. Um, you can also paint the udders on the two cows that have udders. You can paint this little section here with those pink udders. All right. We are going to get this good and dry. Looks like my trees are dry so I can work on those. My cows are still drying. Um, so what I'm going to do up on my um, trees is paint. We want to have some Christmas lights. So I'm gonna have my paint marker and I'm just gonna string some Christmas lights on these trees, which means we're just gonna kind of wrap these curved lines around each tree. Okay. And I should have started over here so I don't drag my hand through everything. I'm just going to do this. On each tree. Then we're going to come back down here while that dries and start working on outlining these cows again. Okay, so I'm just going to start drawing the detail work on the cows. Okay. And... On the legs, they're going to have their skates that we'll paint in. Um, but on these hooves, if we take this one, they're going to have black hooves. Like that. Um, and you can give them... Uh, a tail, so that, and then these are Jersey cows, so they'll have little blobs of black splotches that you fill in. Try there. Okay, and same thing around the body. 
And you may have to wait until the paint dries a little bit more. I'll come back to this section here. Color this one in later when it's dry. Horns. And then for the little face, it's just going to be two eyes and drawing around the rectangle that we painted pink. Fuzzy here. There we go. Okay, so there's our first cow, and I'll paint in those skates there. Um, but we're just going to go through and do this with each of the other cows. Head. The body. This one gets U-shaped udders like that. Not an exact science. Um, here on their ears okay. and again give them the splotches and if it's not dry just give it a minute and let it dry On and do the same thing. So I'm going to let those cows dry just a little bit more while my paint marker isn't liking it. And then the last piece um, that we're going to do is with our detail brush again. Get it nice and clean and dry. And we're just going to put some dots for Christmas lights up here on these trees, okay? So I'm just gonna add little dots of red all through these. And I don't do a pattern here because if I try to do a pattern, it ends up not coming out correctly. So I just kind of do it randomly on each tree. Give them some lights to skate by, right? 
And then you can go back through and do it with the blue and the yellow, and you can make green if you want. Or you could put paint Christmas lights on there. You can do whatever you want on these Christmas lights here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna grab some blue. Come through with yellow, I think, and that'll be enough. I don't think I want green Christmas lights on these trees, but if you do, go for it. Okay, and then my cowls should be dry enough. We can finish those, and we'll be all set with our cool cow ice skating picture. Just kind of put these lights on with that yellow. Last tree. Okay, so now my tree is finished and I can go back to my cows who are still drying there. Okay, so let's give this another try here. His ear was not dry. Fur. Now we're better. So you can see here, it makes it a lot easier when the paint is dry to put that other layer on. her nose. There we go. And now we just have this last, oops, we have this section of color. Now we'll outline our last cow. And sign our artwork. Oops. That section might just have to be goofy. Okay, last arm. Get the 
those udders. And this guy needs a tail. Hooves. It's gonna be a couple sections in this one that I'm just gonna have to, that are just uncooperative, I'm just gonna have to let them dry. Okay. And these sections in here. All right, so we have our cows here. They're skating on the pond. And I'm just gonna go back and fill these ice skates in with some white paint so they match the cows. And then I'm gonna be all finished. with our painting and I hope that you guys have had a good time and I hope I get to see your artwork um, if you want to have your mom or dad send it to me or post it on Facebook that would be great I'd love to see it so um, we're gonna let that dry and call it a day so here is our December Cow Capades painting with Artsy at Home, um, Creative at Home Artsy Club. Uh, if you have any friends who would love to join, we'd always love to have new members. So talk to your, your parents and I'll see you next Thursday. Have a great day. Bye everybody.